everyone and welcome to our renovation update for the kitchen. If you're new around here, hello, my name's Brogan and I live in this beautiful 1930s house with my boyfriend Benji and our little dog Bonnie. If you haven't seen our other videos from our renovation and moving and mortgage tips and advice videos, then I'll leave the playlist link below for you and you can get yourself up to speed. But please stick around and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'd love to have you here and you can see all the other content we're doing um, for the house and renovation and what we've been up to so I am going to give you a little bit of a renovation update at the end of this vlog and tell you what our plans are after the kitchen so stay tuned for that but I have so much footage and so much stuff I want to talk to you about this kitchen and I'm going to break it down into a few videos so today you're going to see the process of ripping the kitchen out and what we've been up to since Christmas day this project actually started several months before that and it has been strange because we are in the middle of a pandemic and we're in the middle of a UK lockdown right now but when we started we were not and it was it's been a weird one um, we have been living without a kitchen since boxing day so I'm going to flash you back in a minute so you can see what we've been up to but most of this project has been completed by my boyfriend Benji. We've had a few people come and go where we've needed someone, um, skilled tradesman for certain elements, but Benji has been doing a lot of it himself, which is insane. And he works a full-time job and he works away a lot of hours and he works weekends too. So it's been a slow process. So you'll see in the timeline that we have been taking our time, but by choice, and it's been fine. We are in no major rush to, you know, get it done straight away but obviously we are at a point now where like it's starting to feel like a kitchen it's starting to come together the last few things you'll see i have a massive ply board behind me benji's putting this down on the floor right now to cover up the old floorboards to give himself um a flat surface when the flooring comes so i thought that we would do a video where i talk about the before and after the design elements how we picked it, how we designed it, how we styled it, all that sort of stuff. So I've got a couple of videos about that coming for you at the end of this month. So stay tuned for that. But this video is really to show you what we've been up to the last few months, how it's been, um, and just seeing the process of the kitchen changing over time has been really exciting. So I thought you'd enjoy it. So let's flash back to Christmas 2020, and then I will show you um, a few other things we want to get done for the rest of this year and just talk about how it's planned. So yeah, let's flash back. Okay, it's Christmas day and this evening we have been packing away all the decorations so it looks really bare suddenly but it looks good like we've cleared it all away. It's definitely felt like we've had our Christmas because we've had the Christmas tree up since last week in November. We've been able to come down every morning and see it but we're ready now. Today is Boxing Day the 26th and as you can see we are having a declutter. And we've used this little front room to store most of our food and kitchen stuff. Oh, it's sort of so echoey. We've never seen it like this. No. Ever, even when we moved in. Because the was table was there. there, wasn't it? it is so bare. Everything's out of the cupboards. All gone. I can't wait. But so nothing, so rubbish. It's all marked and horrible. The bottoms have gone on these. Yeah, this doesn't match. <laughs> I hate it. I can't wait for it to go. Do you know what's bad though, Benj? Under there is blue. I know it is. Oh wow, look at that dead bug. <laughs> We've made a makeshift kitchen area. So we can still use this. Obviously, we are going to be doing the utility room, but we thought we'd do the kitchen first and we'll do this last so that we can move all this back. We haven't done this room That's yet either. That's where we're going to be washing up. And I've put the first aid kit there and stuff like that. So It's going to be strange. And also, sod's law, there's no sockets on this side of the wall. So we've gone... All the way over. We've been working since, what, half eight, nine? Yeah, so and it's now half twelve, so we've done a good job. Start Boxing Day football, so I'm going to watch the, I'm gonna go the get first some game and then we'll carry on after that. Just I should also in. just um, clarify, we've made sure that Bonnie is going to have everything she needs and is going to be comfortable. She normally sleeps in the kitchen, but obviously that's not possible. So we're going to still be able to feed her in there. She's still going to be able to go into the garden or I'm just going to have to take her out every time she needs a wee. We've got a back gate, so we can just yeah. get past this. And then she will sleep either in our bedroom or in the lounge. I almost forgot this room has also got loads of stuff in it. And obviously things that were on the wall. We've got glasses. We ran out of boxes, so we had to start making the best of what we had. <laughs> 
good. I'm not gonna lie, I am feeling really nervous about this project because we are doing it ourselves and kitchens are complicated with waste pipes and the gas and all the elements like we've got a new dishwasher we've got new gas hob and oven it's just gonna be a lot so yeah we're just doing the best we can i'm so glad we've made such great progress today we're so ahead of schedule we blocked out the whole of today to clear out the kitchen so the fact we've done it in like four or five hours it's pretty good and we've cleared loads of stuff we don't want so i'm really hoping i can get to the dump in a few days i might just shove it all in my car actually so it's out the way and then um take that down to the tip and get rid of it okay it's the end of day one boxing day we have put most of it's in my car ready to go to the um tip tomorrow but we've made great progress so we're saying so what i reckon is that there would have been the kitchen originally i think and then this here so there's a line going through here along this beam along that beam and then this side is all tile so I think this must have been the old conservatory. conservatory. Yeah. Unless it was a kitchen conservatory. But I don't know why it would have been. Yeah, it's very strange. Well, this is a 1930s house, so... It's probably changed around a few, a few times. Yeah. Um, be gone island. Yeah, so I've turned that off, drained the gas. Random socket underneath the island, which shouldn't be there. Yeah. It's probably quite naughty that they've done that, so I'll be taking it out. And then there's another one underneath there as well, so that's going to be coming out. And we also prepped loads of food this afternoon too, didn't we? That's campfire stew and gammon. Chicken curry, two of them. And we've got two of these, which is a bolognese mince you can't think that we can have with pasta, the next few days. spaghetti. We didn't want to get to tomorrow night, be like, oh, we've worked all day, what should we have for dinner? And then be like, mm, should we just get a takeaway? We thought before we so. pull the kitchen out, we'd do one final bit of last minute cooking, so that's good and then we've got the dishwasher still in so that we can wash dishes tonight after one last dinner wash. yeah and tomorrow morning that the sink them units on the window wall will be coming out you're gonna do a couple of trips to the yard and back not yard the um and skip to the tip and back yeah and then yeah and then start and then me and dad are gonna start dragging the ceiling down so yeah, tomorrow will be the ceiling. Today has been very noisy. Benji's dad has kindly come to help. Obviously, Benji needs the help and they are gonna be replastering the ceiling. So they've basically taken down the old ceiling. This house is old and it was starting to really crack. So we thought whilst we were taking the kitchen out, we'd do it now. So that's why it's gonna look like it is, I'm gonna show you. But they've been working so hard on it today and obviously we have kept it all safe for Benji's dad to be able to come in and out the house. So they've got the back door and the back gate open. So I just need to run all the way around the house because we've boarded off the kitchen door so you can't go in and out through the main house anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna run around this side of the house and then show you what we've done. Okay, so here's the ceiling. Are we on that, day two? We're on day two, yes. Day two. So basically there's loads of timbers like that run across, plasters chucked in there, smoothed that up. This is half of it, so <laughs> Come it's all in bags and that. It's probably going to be a good 30, 40 bags of rubble. Wow. Um, it's been hard, hard is, work. You've done an amazing job, look at that. That's insane. I've, uh, I took up all the wood, because all the wood's fine, all the plaster just comes straight off of it. I put it in a load of bags and then put it along the back wall there. I rang mum and mum came round and uh, picked it all up. She, um, she swung by. Stuck it, stuck it in her car. Um, I just like shouted at her over the wall saying, it's down there! And I said she appreciated that so she can burn that. She got a log fire at home. Oh, that's good. Um, so it's recycling in a way. And then I said we've boarded off those doors so you can't come yeah, in and out so now. Yeah, so our kitchens, kitchen, uh, temporary kitchens, <laughs> round the round side, side as you know. Looks good though, you've done a great job. I feel, I feel really good about it. You know, like sometimes you have that, that day's work and you like, and you can see what you've done. Yeah. I'm sure there'll probably be a day coming up where I'm just doing like bits of electrics and chasing bits out and it's gonna be, not gonna feel like we've done a lot, but today's been, been like good. Done a lot, so. Well done. Yeah. High five. I went to the dump three times today to get rid of the old kitchen units, they were so horrible, we couldn't have sold them, but we are gonna keep the components like the old 
oven, gas hob and dishwasher. They're going to go into a storage unit and then we're either going to sell them on or keep them as spares. And then all of our extended family will always have a spare one in storage. Oh gosh, there's a ram around the whole house. But um, I'm so proud of Benji and his dad. They've done a great job today considering there are no other builders or people on site to help us. They're just cracking on. Obviously, they are skilled in this industry. Uh, Benji is a qualified electrician and he often works on building sites where he's doing all sorts of stuff. He's not a domestic electrician, so he doesn't do houses. He works niches in like hospitals and does CT scanners and MRI scanners and things like that. So he's very good at sort of figuring out this sort of stuff but um yes it's such a cool project seeing it change so day two is is good so far hello everyone it's day three monday the 28th of december and today i announced the podcast so i've been very busy working but benji and his dad have also been equally as busy let me just grab some slippers okay so i'm hoping that you can see the progress they've made because this is insane it's quite cool to get the um extract fan going out that way so we going through the box needs so it was a bit work um so there's been a lot of planning to allow us to do other things a lot quicker um, so yeah, that's up today. Cables are in for the spotlights. Um, obviously, this will be coming out. Oh, so you got to do that side? Yeah, so nearly there. Yeah. Honestly, we've taken out probably a good what, a thousand, two thousand nails today. Wow. Uh, the timbers that was holding up the plaster and laugh took absolutely ages. We took a good two hours to take all the nails out. Of You've there. done an amazing job today. So, so good. Yeah, we're getting there. So 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 good. And then obviously on here we'll just stick the passports up. And then once the passport's up, we'll plow a strip. And uh, then we're on to the kitchen then. Yeah, that's what it looks like down here. So yeah, not it's looking good. No, not no, not so exciting today, today but, but a really great job. All adds up. It does. We have plasterboard. plasterboard. It's getting plastered tomorrow. And, and the spotlights. Still, uh, still got a white coat here. Do, do the actual top coat and then drill the holes for the spotlights, which is the scariest part. Because obviously you won't look wearing spotlights, not glue. So um, just gotta make sure I get it centre to centre. Set up a, a laser. Good luck with that. Looks good though. Yeah. Progress. That's yeah, it. Yeah. That's today's work. Well done. It is New Year's Eve, the 31st of December, and the ceiling has been plastered but is drying. The gas man came and moved a pipe. So obviously the gas used to be where the island is, that's now moved over. Okay, so here's the updates. We have a ceiling, which is exciting. So this is gonna take a few days to dry. And then the gas man came and moved the pipe from here, as you can see, to there. So sand the walls down and repaint them. That's what we're doing today. You gotta be careful, because I've made load of, done a load of marks around the top to show you where the spotlights are, so we can't paint it over them yet. Not the ceiling, no. So you've got to be careful. No, that is in the bubble picture. Right? Oh, right, okay, fine. Go I'm going to crack on. I'm going to paint. Bonnie's going to sit in our bed, probably. We're going to play some music. Just the two of us today. Let's go. <laughs> what you want to do now? Should we head back to my place? Uh, uh, uh. Will you give me that smile? I think my heart's turning up the pace. I don't care about what we do. Get to be with you What you wanna do now Wants to be afraid of When we're young, stupid and in love Happy New Year! It's the 1st of January and we have been busy, busy, busy this morning Oh, sorry um, Benj has put in the holes for the spotlights Oh, hopefully you can see that and there's some over that side the ceiling is now dry. It's changed colour a lot, hasn't it? Yeah, it went, it does, yeah. it went yeah. like dark and white and dark again. It's really dark now. Yeah. It's like a uh, light pink. Is how it is. Weird. Normally, it stinks as well. It's got a really strong smell, and um, it heats up a room. It's, so, it's such a weird thing to be in. But when you're in a room, it's almost like muggy when the plaster's going up. Yeah. So that's good. So the ceiling's dry now. We did two coats of white base around the middle section here and then obviously we've got to do above the picture rail the picture rails themselves and the skirting boards and the but ceilings it's a lot of paint i couldn't paint above the picture rail because i had all my markings for all the joists 
Right. So now I've got now. So we have to do the lights next before we can then do the yeah. next set of painting because you need to do the lights, yeah. But now I should be able to just roll the whole thing, so. It's exciting. Yeah. yeah really yeah, exciting. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it update wise. We will chat to you again when we have some more stuff in. Hopefully, hopefully some lights. Okay, it's half past six and it's at that point where it looks worse before <laughs> it's gonna be better, but so much progress today. Little yeah, hang on, let me spin it around. Look at me, by the way. Mmm, admin painting. Okay, so spotlights are in and working. I painted all the way around between the picture rail and the ceiling. I actually washed it first and then painted around. And she's obviously doing the ceiling. That's gonna need a couple of coats. And then the most exciting part, well, the lights are pretty exciting, but we have some units. I mean, I know it looks really bad right now, but you know, it will be lovely when it's done. Um, so yeah, they had to spend quite a lot of time working with the gas box so we knew that was there and howden's did account for it but it still needed some you know like cutting out and figuring out yeah um, just not well enough just don't worry well at all. oh okay well there we go then that answers that this took you ages on its own like this oh, is the walls are i can't fix anything we're gonna have a lot more sockets and plugs in there that's the, one of the things that we said wasn't it we wanted more sockets. yeah are you doing extra one here as well then I assume? Yeah. Oh that's good because that's where my kettle also, and my coffee machine is going to go. All the stuff before, it was just on like socket on, on sockets underneath the floor. So it's on above the floor but below the units which you're not supposed to have. You're supposed to have accessible spurs. Right. So if there's like a fire or whatever or something you can just flip the spur. So there we go that is, what day are we on? Seven days, one weekend. Um, it's looking good. They've managed to get most of the units in, but we did have a bit of a hiccup because we're missing the end cabinet. So obviously this is gonna be a breakfast bar coming out and there will be one um, here, this end unit here. So we need to call Howden tomorrow and find out where that is because we thought we had everything, but obviously these things happen. So we're gonna find out what's going on while we're missing the end piece. And then it's just like so many bits and bobs going on. Like Benj is obviously sorting out all of these things, which just, I don't know, I just don't know. Um, and then we're having to think about how we're gonna cover up here by the side of the door, because obviously the unit before used to go round. Benj has put so much paint on the walls, like white coat after white after white, and it's really starting to come together. You can see a little bit of blue behind there still. But yeah, we've got painting stuff everywhere. Um, makeshift kitchen is constantly a mess of stuff. So yeah, it just is what it is. I am actually enjoying seeing it change, and obviously doing any renovation takes time, especially when, you know, we're doing it all ourselves. But yeah, it's starting to look really good. Obviously, Ben does need to paint the picture rail and the skirting board still but he's done an amazing job and obviously given up his christmas break and time of work to do this he goes back to work tomorrow today is the 6th of january and then she went back to work a couple of days ago so obviously nothing's being done at the moment during the day although we are looking at hope hopefully having somebody come in next week uh we have now since filming the last clips gone into national lockdown so we are making sure that everything is COVID secure. We can have people come in the back gate, back door, very easily. Um, we only need one person who is a colleague of Benji's to help do the worktops. But yesterday we did have this extra unit delivered by Howden's, there's Bonnie, uh, which was missing in our original order. So that's fine, they got that fixed for us. And yeah, it just is like, construction site still so nothing more to report although apparently we're waiting on a specific switch for the oven so everything matches not quite sure um but yeah it's very echoey in here still and we're just sort of cracking on eating leftovers and freezer food that we've been defrosting now so we're at that point in the uh, no kitchen life but bonnie wants her dinner so not some dinner you do, don't you? You're hungry. Oh, we've got some new floorboards down here because some of them broke when Benji lifted them up. So he put those in. 
Um, I think that's all the updates. Today is Sunday the 10th of January and this weekend Benji's been, Benji's been painting the kitchen in our colour that we have mostly upstairs. It's called White Mist, which is... You can't quite tell, but this will stay white. The picture rails will also be repainted white. And then this is sort of like a yeah, like you, an office grey. If you put it on a scale, as like dark grey is a 10, white's a 1, it's like a 2. Yeah, we had a colour called Timeless in here before, which matched the old cupboards. But we're going for, oh, as you've already seen, but like a grey and white. So we thought it was the best match. But it's looking really good. So finally the paint, well the painting's taken like two weeks on its own. Especially with the ceiling. Mostly the ceiling, because obviously I've had to go from just like pink plaster mm -hmm. to a finished ceiling. He's also got the spotlights in now, which they, are looking good. Honestly, I'm so surprised at how, how that? much nicer they look. So, so good. It's really changed this whole room. The other update is that we have an oven in. Not working yet, but it's in. And also, it's got these little like flicky knobs that I just, like a child, did like, it's amazing. They kept it in. I just said to Benj that we don't have a Bake Off oven where the, uh, where the um, mm. uh, door slides up. To be fair, I think we had a choice of three ovens. Like, they didn't have a lot of choice, did they, Haven? Might have even been two. We could have bought it elsewhere, but it was just easier just to do it all. We were doing it all, all, all in one day. Just do one payment just to them. Yeah. They probably put a horrific markup on it, but it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. We're happy. So yeah, that's that's the update at the moment. Not much else, but we do. We'll probably make a lot more progress in the next couple of days because we have your colleague coming in don't we yeah so obviously i'm at work tomorrow but colin's coming in instead of me tagging them in um and he's gonna be doing worktops flashbacks doors but you can kind of do in two days really so we'll give you another update in the next couple of days but that's where we're at okay so it's the end of the 11th of january today and we have a worktop we're getting there we're getting there it's not quite rounded off and finished but ta-da we were debating whether to keep it like that, because we've cut the end off, or to keep it square, or to keep it like this in square, but we're going to round off the edges, round off the edges there, and have it as a bit more of a smoother finish. Mm -hmm. um, Which is how it is in the plans. I really plans. like this worktop though. Yeah, it's lovely. This is looking nice. I don't know if you can really see on camera. I think it might, I know it sounds mad, but I think it might be too bright. Um, but it looks really nice. Right, it's there, Mama. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, just dim the lights. Dim the lights for me, please. There we go. Yeah, it's looking good. Really nice. Obviously, it looks rubbish with all that right now. But, love the colour as well, the grey. I don't yeah. know if you can really see the grey back here. Plus, you've got to imagine the floor's got to be done. Yeah, there's so much to be done. Just don't like me. <laughs> but at least we have... There's so much more to be done. Here we go, this is what this is look looking like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and that's the end of the day. <laughs> Hello, it's the 18th of January. Benji's just in the shower. Bonnie's running around. And I thought I'd show you a few updates on the kitchen. Still very slow progress, as you know, because Benj can only do what he can do in the evenings or weekends. He had to work all of the last weekend, so not a lot got done, but he had today off work so that he could focus on the kitchen. So he's managed to do cupboards. So we have one over here and one there. Um, there's loads of things that, that we're gonna be tweaking and doing and stuff yet. It's not, obviously it's not finished. I feel like I want to explain like every step of the way and like little tiny things we're doing, but that's the whole point of like renovating is that things come up and you're like, okay, we need to do this, we need to do that. Um, but it's looking really good. The sink had to come out because they were going to be working on some plumbing stuff and the dishwasher will go in as well. So that is in here now. So all of the kitchen stuff, I can't remember if I said, has been in storage. So we just bring stuff over when we need it. So yeah, basically that is the update. Is the, They've been working on some stuff. Benji's going to paint the door. We started painting the door because all our doors are um, wood. And we were a bit hesitant, but... I think the wood looks nice with the old kitchen with the wood worktops, but because we've got no more wood going on in here, we felt like we wanted to paint them. So I know some of you won't agree with that, but 
we personally wanted them. They're not gonna be white, they're actually a Farron ball color called something breath, mole's breath, I think it's called. It's lovely, it's gonna be really nice when it's done. So we picked up that from being q tonight and loads of other little bits he needed, but mostly like, it just looks like a construction site still. So we're coming up to the one month mark, but obviously that's not working on it every single day. Um, so I knew that we'd be about at this point. Um, the splashback has been put in and the worktop has been secured down, but we have a bit of a blip on the wall here because that's obviously where the old unit went to. So that's gonna need some work to get that white or we can extend the splashback down. I'm not quite sure um, what we'll do just yet. Anyway, so that's where we're at, I think. Oh, the oven works. We've been using it to cook a couple of dinners. Um, so that's good. So yeah, that's all from today. We've got some updates to show you since we last filmed. Do you want to tell them? Yeah, I do. We've done loads. We've done loads. Honestly, I've been so busy with work that I have hardly had time to do much. Do with. First big thing. I wish I took a before and after picture of these, these look so much nicer. We have video. Yeah, so, oh, I don't know, it might have seen a little touch in a couple of places where it hasn't quite covered. That obviously sits in here. I'll touch this up, make it a bit nicer. You've that done one. all the picture rails white now, haven't you? All the picture rails done, this one, this one was manky and yellow and faded and horrible. Dishwasher's in, not plumbed in yet. This took absolutely ages so we won't ever be showing down here because it's horrible um it's also taking up a lot of space for me to put my cleaning products on there these are up the cornices are up um yeah i say why not list it like that this doesn't sound like i'm up all you've done all these time. yeah this was a oh, big yeah, job lucky or done all the luckies um and they work yeah <laughs> yeah it's good it's been like another week since the last update so yeah, we're, we're getting there We've ordered the floor, no we haven't, we've ordered samples for the floor, but we're pretty sure we want that, that floor. It's not quite grand designs, but we're getting there. We are getting there, slow and steady wins the race. We're in absolutely no rush. Every time we talk about doing any renovations, like when we did the bathroom, we get so many people like, you're taking so long, and it's like, well yeah, because we don't have I, builders coming in. <laughs> I, like the last couple of weekends I've had to work the weekends as well. Like, like for mm. work work and you've been away like it's not like you've come home in the evening yeah, so, so it's literally just been like eight. it's unfortunate you've been so busy with work but we didn't know that when we bought the kitchen it was you know beginning of december so we didn't know what your work schedule would be like but that's okay it's okay the, the hardest thing is we're getting to a point now where we're at the one month mark it's been one month hasn't it yeah and obviously we're eating a lot of like ready meals, oven meals, we haven't done any fresh cooking. Our families have dropped us off stuff, but we haven't, we've been eating really bad and it's, it's starting to feel like it's taking us tall a little bit, but we're so grateful to have such a lovely, gorgeous space. So yeah. it's gonna be so great when it's done. Yeah. So a lot don't you get in another week, probably. Probably. Not much has changed. Yeah. No, will. <laughs> Must change, it has to. Whoa, that's sunny um we've got a blind that we've ordered for that window actually all the windows are filthy <laughs> from all the dust and everything i'm not going to bother cleaning them until obviously it's more done but anyway on instagram on a home account brogan take home this morning i've been talking about flooring with everyone and oh it's such a challenging decision because we've sort of gone with our gut feeling for for most of the kitchen so picking the cupboard color and the worktop and everything was fairly easy for us. Like we both were on the same page with it. But when it came to the flooring, it's not that one different pages, we both just don't quite know. I'm gonna move these into the light, which, oh yes, I have a working sink now, by the way. Oh, brilliant. Um, so, so these are the first samples we got. And then I also ordered directly from the Dean. Is it Dean? is that how you say it? Yes, website. And these weren't quite right. I'm hoping you can see in the light. No, I'm not sure if you can really see. Oh, there we go. Um, so this is way too dark. It's like too black. And this one also I felt like was just too dark as well. But this one's not far off that. Now when it came to these samples, I like this one, like how this feels and looks. I'm not hugely sold on like, like how these lines are, but I know it's just a sample, so you can't really tell. So I've been going on different websites and sort of trying to see what the floor will look like. So that's what it looks like right now. And that's what that darker flooring, so this one, that's what that would look like. So that's what that one looks like. It's 
more brown. Benj and I are not hugely sold on wanting too much brown. Like I know that this is sort of dark brown, but light brown because the work tops and everything else is so white and light and bright. I'm not sure, but anyway, that's where we're at. Also yesterday we had a gas guy come and fit the hob. So the hob is on, the gas works now. It's really dirty from obviously everything, but it looks nice. A lot of our friends said that they would prefer an induction hob, which, you know, it's fair enough, each to their own. Apparently induction hobs are great these days. They're a lot easier to clean and whatever. But Benj and I just prefer cooking with gas. So that's just a personal preference. We both feel that way. Yes, it's a little bit more annoying to clean, but I don't mind. I've, I've had gas even when I lived in a flat, when I lived with Benji's dad, when I lived with both my parents. I don't think I've ever not had gas actually. Yeah, so it's all I've ever known. So today is the 31st of January and we have got a kitchen. Almost. Almost. Almost, but it's looking so good. This is obviously the same. The hob went in this week. Thursday, wasn't it? Yeah, the cupboards have gone on and you might notice, do you want to tell them about your little boo-boo down yeah. there? So that's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> but, um, I was showing Brogan earlier, the instructions, there's like 20 different drawers you can put on and they don't, now you know like an Ikea instruction book, mm -hmm. it'll show you point by point, it's not, it's like oh if this then that, if that, so I just, no, did that one fine, made up, but I didn't realise that because these are already pre-set, there is a way up that this goes, you'd have thought that the drawer would be equally cool but it's not, so um, we've just got your two new drawers. But it's looking good. This one was a nightmare. This cupboard came with no holes in whatsoever. So I had to like, do all the measurements, all the... It took me about three quarters of an hour just to do this one drawer. Just trying to get everything right, but it works perfectly. Oh, also... Soft clothes. Soft clothes. And we've just... picked the flooring. We have. It took us days. Days? If not a few Face weeks. Calls at World and we haven't even seen a sample of it. We're just going to go for it. We've given up caring now at this we've point. We've got, what, six samples that we like and then you bring them home because it's like you see it on the catalogue and you see it in a showroom and you see it as a sample but until you have it in your own conditions like this our lighting the sunlight from outside we're just gonna go for it with the cupboards and worktops and that the doors you, you can't tell so so next is the flooring those cupboards fix that one you're fixing the wall over there yeah. gotta fix that hole up there and then the pantry needs to get fixed, obviously. So I've ordered some and that's shelves about it. that match these shelves. Inside, yeah. To go in there. We're it's getting there. White ones. Yeah, it's, 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 it's the first time it started to feel like a kitchen. Yeah. It's been a bit pain because this is all, obviously tile of that sort of um, floorboard is so I'm gonna have to put like a six mil ply or over all the floorboards and then have to latex this floor. So I don't know how far this floor goes back so I expect that's the next weekend's thing. On the Friday or the Saturday, I'll take up the whole floor. Um, so we'll probably have two weeks where we won't have a floor at all. But then that'll allow us to crack on. Sounds good. Until next week. <laughs> so that brings us up to speed. Today is the 9th of February. So we still have quite a lot of snagging to do in terms of um, the hob needs to go up. We've got some stuff on the walls that needs sanding and painting still. Obviously the rest of the ply on top of the floorboards needs to go down. And yeah, the whole pantry unit in the corner there as well hasn't been touched yet. So there's still quite a lot of work to do over the next couple of weeks. And then we'll show you before and after obviously. Um, but this is where we're at today. So it's looking really good. We've got a fully working kitchen now, bar the dishwasher. So the gas, the oven and the water all work, which is just amazing. Um, it's really looking so fresh, very us. I think the spotlights massively improve the, the room. It feels really light and open and I can't wait to welcome guests and people over when that's allowed. So in terms of design, I will do a whole video about like designing and styling this kitchen, but we're actually thinking about making this side of the room, which used to be a dining table and dining room, we're actually gonna make this more of an open plan lounge area. So it's gonna have a sofa or a little sofa and a lounge like chair with a little coffee table. And then we're maybe considering having like a wood burner log burner fire in this corner. 
so that when people come in, if somebody's stopping by for a coffee or a catch up, we can sit at the bar here with bar stools or sit on the sofas. And then some of you might ask, well, where do we eat our dinner? Benj and I actually eat, we'll eat our dinner either at the bar or we'll eat in the lounge. And that's how we've always eaten our meals. So it's just personal preference. And so yeah, that's just what we want. And I think when you buy a house, you have these visions of what you think it will look like. But actually the reality is, is that everybody lives very differently so for example we thought we'd love an island in this kitchen and i'll talk more about getting rid of the island and changing it to a bar but the reality of an island is that it got really messy really quickly both of us were dumping stuff on it all the time it was really intrusive in the room and it was a really small gap between the island and the units which made it just really awkward to tidy up and empty the dishwasher and have our dog bonnie as well running around it it was just not practical for us so you think you want something but when you live with it you realize it's just not needed like we had this dining table and just never used it so we're deciding that we're going to adapt it to be more us if that makes sense so other elements that we want to do this year let's talk about other plans the door's closed right now because it's an absolute mess in there, but you have seen what that utility room looks like. It's very dark and dingy in there. I think some better lighting there would be great if Benj can improve that, but we're getting the same units here with the same worktop. It's gonna go all along the back wall. We're gonna have a massive sink in there so we can wash Bonnie, and it's gonna be a really functional, practical utility room space. We're actually thinking about having a wine fridge as well. Um, so we're gonna have all our alcohol in there so you can create cocktails and just be like a really great use of the space. We're also gonna do the downstairs bathroom, which you saw at the beginning of this video, which is blue right now. I absolutely hate it. I hate everything about that downstairs bathroom. So that is another project. But at the moment it's just not an essential because it you know it functions as a toilet it has just started snowing and it's absolutely freezing so i'm going to make this quick but the next thing after we've done the kitchen and the utility room is actually the back of this house here in fact actually the whole house all the way around we have a detached house and we want to render the whole thing because as you can see this is just a mess and we have loads of issues going on here we actually had um holes and we had problems with birds um trying to build nests in there which is the ideal so they're patched up temporarily at the moment but that whole thing needs to get done and then after that we're going to get the garden done and i actually have somebody coming by today to measure up and give us a quote i'm having a couple of people give me a couple of quotes um but gardening is not our forte and again when you live with something we thought that we'd be doing gardening and having flower beds and everything the reality is because we don't have space for a shed we don't have gardening tools and neither of us like gardening so I know for a fact that there'll be people coming into this video giving me advice and things that they think I should do, but trust me, Benj and I have lived here for a year now, we know what we want, and the garden will be a whole separate video as well, but just to sort of give you some sort of vague idea, it's a mess in here. Um, the, gar the grass is really awful, and um, we've got loads of concrete blocks and stuff that needs to get pulled out, all of this needs to get ripped out decking will get ripped out we're thinking of having patio lowering this so we're just a little bit lower down because we can see like neighbors in their garden so that will really help change the space and then yeah just having it as a really low maintenance area so again like i said that'd be a whole new video for you but that is a project we'd love to get done this year that is high on my priority list because spending so much time at home obviously i want to be in the garden this summer spring summer um i want to get some nice outdoor seating out here oh gosh it's freezing let's get inside so yeah kitchen will get done in the next couple of weeks before the end of february then they will start on the utility room benji and hopefully his dad will come by to help with plumbing stuff then we'll do rendering then the garden probably then the downstairs toilet and then we'll look into our spare room that we have at the front we have this tiny sort of cloak room cloak room room area at the front of the house that needs a little bit of love and organization as well then once we've done all that, I think we're nearly there. It's been an amazing project so far and we are so enjoying the process. And like I said, there'll be more to come to talk about why we've decided to do certain things. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you are subscribed for new videos like this. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.